Wow. Hey guys, Spring and Prey here, and welcome back to Victoria 2, Divided We Stand. We're playing as the Federal States, and I have made sort of an executive decision where we are going to kind of sort of take advantage of a little bit of the mechanics in this mod, um, namely the fact that you can release your nations and that they will just immediately ask to be annexed again. So we're going to take advantage of this. Um, the reasoning behind that is because I think if we were to just play regular after this, it's kind of going to get boring because we were able to eat so quickly it's just going to be slow and boring and we only have like about 30 years left so I think I want to try and push this as far as I can so we're going to constantly have zero infamy but we're going to be going to war as much as we want which is going to be awesome all right so let's go ahead and uh, get started here I'm going to put it up to five speed um, our economy was doing a little bit of um, on the rocks scary stuff but that's okay because um, you know, our military budget's all the way up, that's great. Uh, soldiers, everything's great. Uh, I think we're going to leave everything where it is, because it looks like it's doing a, a little bit better than it was um, last few episodes. Um, but we're also going to want to start dis annexing the rest of these guys. So, like, um, dessert here, we can get rid of them. All we have to release is the uh, Nevada. I want Let's try this guy first, because I want I want to get him in there first. But the very, very first thing we're going to do is try to justify conquest against Quebec. Yes, so let's let's spend our points doing that, and then we can worry about increasing our... about making love to the other guys over here. So what are we spending money on? It's all these freaking subsidies, like... Gosh, subsidies. Alright, we got a bunch of infamy. Let's go ahead and just uh, tone that down right now. Let's go ahead and release... Uh, we want to be careful about who we actually release. Thirty-two provinces. Because we have to make sure that there are people that are going to actually want to come back. Like, for instance, if we release, um, if we release like Cascadia or something, they're never going to want to come back. But yeah, there goes our Whoop. humiliate on Japan. No, let's be nice. All right, we got Idealism, which is going to give us some more research points, which is going to be sorely needed. I think in order to help with our, uh, you know, I think we're going to do that, because this is going to give us more farming and mining. And if we take a look at our population here, we have a lot of farmers still. So let's go ahead and try to give them a little bit of relief by increasing their efficiency here. Um, Quebec, F them, we don't need it. Let's go ahead and get a little more socialist. I like there being a lot of warfare <clears throat> between the different parties because that means that when fascists come around we may have a chance at getting them to you know go crazy and win some elections uh, gazillion research points or prestige let's get some research points because the prestige we're, we're still pretty good there we're fifth in the world right now but we're gonna we're high on the heels we're right on the heels of everybody else let's see what so when we're not paying a lot of subsidies we're doing well when we are paying subsidies, we're doing we do poorly. So it must be just something in the world economy that's pushing us to do poorly. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, lose a hundred dollars. That's fine. I can pay that. Let's see, we don't have any debt, do we? No, good. We I, we had debt last last episode. I just wanted to make sure that we actually paid that off. All right. So now we're gonna roll through interchangeable parts as well. Um, let's go ahead and invest in all these projects, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up all these extra factories. Um. And make sure that they're all getting the upgrades that they need as well. Got some English communists. Uh, looks like we're already on that. Great. Kill them all. Long live the federal states. San Diego. We should be really making a lot more money, honestly, just because, like, right now we're hardly fielding our military at all. It's not that we need it, really, because, you know, look at these guys. Like, really, what are they going to do to us? But still, I'd like to see... I like this profit margin that I'm seeing right now. This is making me happy. Um... Obviously, because this means that we can support more units if the need arises. And specifically against um, Ontario, we're going to probably need to field some more guys because they well, they only have five brigades right now. How do they have five brigades but be like, uh, oh, they're rank 58. How do they only have five brigades, though, and have eight military score? We have 14 military score. That's really weird. 
No, 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 we have 86 military power. There we go. Much better. That's what I was wondering. All right, we're 14th in the world. I'm an idiot sometimes. Numbers and stuff like that, they're not clearly labeled, so when I look at them, they're just, like, always backwards, and I'm just dumb. It's not like, I don't have, like, autism or anything. Sweet, some cores. I really like those cores. All right, now we have some Diplo points. Let's go ahead and get some relationship with Idaho. Increase that shiat. Same thing with New Mexico, since we just have such an abundance of relations right now. Did New Mexico get pissed with us or something? Hmm. I wonder if they get pissed every time we, like, acquire other cores. Gain a level of railroad? Ooh. Yeah, let's invest. Beautiful place. Great. Actually, railroads in general, we should just... Yeah, let's do railroads everywhere. The, these are the Appalachian Mountains, so you can't do railroads there, but the railroads are pretty much done everywhere else as well, anyways. Good, we got Indoor Casas Valley against Quebec. Let's declare a war on them. Alright, I don't think they really had any army or anything, so... Let's go put our boats in front of their boats. Just in case they got any ideas. Uh, three prestige sounds great. Okay, long live the federal states. What are our accepted cultures? Dixie, Afro-American, and Yankee. Oh no, Yankee, but Dixie and African-American are accepted. That's cool. So when we start eating up the South, it's not going to be the end of the world. What are they occupied by? Anarcho liberals? Hmm. Well, that sucks for them. Are, is this really all of our army? No, we have like, that can't be, that is all of our army, huh. Alright, we have a decision. We can do the increased pride thing, which is great, because that means you don't have to actually use that console command that I engraved into my desk. Alright, they better not switch governments or some bullshit and make us lose our war against them. I want to eat up Metis Confederacy as well as Confederacy as well. So let's start justifying war against them. We have to decrease relations though because they're too they're too, we're too happy together. Wow, Long Island. Oh yeah, but once we uh, take over Quebec, we could probably colonize the top of Ontario over there. Uh, let's go ahead and get inorganic, chem inorganic chemistry, because when we start having more units, it's going to be nice to have a better supply limit. Oh, well. Secret police. Yeah, get wrecked, rebels. Um, and then Newfoundland, we're probably going to want to eat them as well. But first, I want to eat the Metis Confederacy, because then we're going to be able to control the expansion of Ontario. All right, Potato Republic. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. All right, well, as soon as this guy finishes, we're going to go send him down there to go kill those rebels. Oh, look at that. He's going to do it for us. Thank you, game. I wonder why it won't let me hit a... Oh, probably because we're at war. But Russians want... Russians, Italy, and France want um, to not make Poland free. Poland wants to be free from the Russians. This is great. I really like the how they left all this vanilla over here. Because it's actually an interesting Europe. Like, an inter interesting Europe is going on right now. Like, France, Russia, and Italy, that's a really big line. I, and, but they got the UK on their side here. I don't know what the hell's going to happen, because UK, UK OP is hell. Look at that, 407 military? Jesus. Good thing we don't have to worry about them over here, really. Yeah, that's right, Venezuela. You pay up. Alright, we're working on Ontario still. Ontario is going to be nice, you know, once again, because we're going to be able to get that. Do we just core Baltimore? Oh, yeah. I think that already was a core, though, but whatever. Okay, more rebels. That's fine. We can go kill them as well. Red Guards. That's um, some socialists here. Looks like we're paying a bunch of subsidy or, or, yeah, subsidies. 
Luckily though, it looks like we're we were staying in the green for a bit, but now it's red. It's just that's sad. Right, let's just wrap around here and do that. Uh, Georgia Republic decline. Cool, we're, we're getting some good stuff. Inorganic chemistry also has some nice things that we could, like nitroglycerin and stuff. Uh, yeah, they almost see our splendor. Alright, we got nine infamy. We can deal with that a little bit after this war. Once we're done with annexing Quebec, Quebec, then we'll deal with that. Oh, looks like we have some more rebels over here in California. California. We should probably build some army soon, but I'm afraid because of our our weird our weird economy right now. Oh well. Let's just roll here. Uh factories, let's go ahead and upgrade them all. How's our infrastructure doing? Oh, looks all looks like it's all good. On the up and up. We'll outfit an expedition, I believe. We, I mean, we're losing money, but we can afford it because we have a bunch of capital saved. Let's see what what would happen if we max the tax on the rich. It looks like it's helping. And I mean, our tax efficiency isn't that great, so it's not like we're, you know, really killing them over here. Metis Confederacy, you got an allies. Columbia. Columbia, you got an army? No. No. Okay, so neither of them have armies. That's fine. Sounds great. Alright. So once we get up there, we're... Well, actually, I want to declare right now. Okay, it looks like Colombia is going to not come fight us. Sounds good to me. I wonder if they, uh, the Quebecians are going to give up yet. Let's get some more mining efficiency and farming output. Yeah, these, these things are so expensive. Jewel has, it's like nobody wants to build ships, I guess, in the world, so those clippers are expensive. No one must really even have ships either because, I, you know, I know you don't just need only, you don't need clippers only for uh, the one time you build the ship. You need it also for when you're, um, when you're maintaining them. Yeah, our, it's those subsidies, man, they go crazy. Let's see, I bet you there's like some weird things going on in this trade. Like, why is that not in hide it? Okay. Yeah, lumber is like one of our biggest exports, I believe. If we take a look at our production real fast. Yeah, we produce a whole crap ton of lumber. Uh, we also have a lot of fabric and other things, but it's a lot of, our biggest thing by far is lumber. So that's probably why things aren't going so hot for us. I'd assume. Anyways. There we go. Annex Quebec. Alright, let's get in there. Uh, I guess we kill these guys? Nope, those went away. Good. Alright, let's start declaring uh, or justifying against Newfoundland. Alright, increase you with uh, increase relations with Idaho. They're libertarian now, so they might actually, um, and New Mexico is the American party now, so they might actually take an alliance right away if we release Montana. Oh, we have to wait a month anyways. Oh, it looks like South Carolina is going to war down there. That's good. I hope they get a little bigger so that when we eat them, it's nicer. <sighs> Man, that administration, though, has cost so much, even though we have cores on pretty much everything, or at least a lot of it. 
Maybe we should look into getting some uh, more administrative efficiency. I think I'm gonna go grab business regulations after the steam turbine. Oh well, I mean we're kind of like waffling here economy-wise, but it's at least you know positive number. Everyone's, you know, like, we're not losing, we're not going into debt. Which is nice. Because debt sucks. You know, I've never gone bankrupt in this game, or, oh, I think I did go bankrupt in the Urban Reverse Alice once, but, um, not that I can remember what happened from, though. I forget. So where are the cores here for this guy? So he's cores all over this area here. But if I release Arizona, then he'll be wanting to talk. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. I got some extra points. Oh, we're at war. Duh. Well, we can finish up this war and then we'll do it. Yeah, there's only two provinces here, so it should go quick. Yeah, I'm like really very very tempted to go ahead and just stop all subsidies. And we'll just kill the factories that don't make it, I guess. Yeah, like especially that clipper cuz those were really expensive. What's sad is I think I actually made those clipper factories myself. Alright, let's let it run out a little bit more. Alright, I'm going to close these factories and then we're going to put subsidies back on. Yeah, I definitely don't need any more lumber. Alright. Alright, well that seems to be like, well, it looks like we're doing a little bit better right now, so... Hopefully the, yeah, I mean, it was really those clipper factories that were just murdering us on, those clippers and the uh, lumber factory was just murdering us on subsidies. So now that those are gone, I think we might be able to actually afford some actual military here. Um, no, not that one, this one. Alright, we're almost done over here. Let's go ahead and increase relations with Mexico just a little bit more, just to be absolutely sure. That they will give us what we want, which is an alliance and their annexation. Protectionism is good. Alright, good, we got them. Did we already start doing the, uh... No, they increased their relations with us. Oops. Who said you could do that? Alright, now can we uh, can we colonize this? Sweet. I mean, we have the colonial power. We might as well do it, right? The Jewel of the Pacific. Oh, that's great, because we get the... Now we're going to get so many more prestige events. That's awesome. Uh, hard work other nations sing our praise um you know I think we're our our situation here as a great power is pretty much solidified so the extra the extra little bit of prestige is not gonna do us too well too good you know it's not, it's not that super important easy natives all right so those two are Oops. all right good we already got guys on it good all right we're making enough money I feel comfortable building some more u army units Let's build some uh, some guards, and we're gonna want to build some ca artillery, and let's build some like just like an equal amount of the three. All right, and we'll make like five engineers. Okay. Um, and then some infantry just to round it out because infantry and guards are pretty good. 
actually the guards see they're like a little bit better in attack, but the infantry is good in defense. So it's nice to have a pretty even amount. Uh, limited citizenship or all men are quit. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and limit it. And limited citizenship is fine. Looks like we're buying up a little bit of our goods. Uh, sure. Yay, mining efficiency. That's awesome. Kaboom. Jingoism, please. Uh, Nickajack wants military access. Proceed. Protectionism, please. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some more research points here. That should go quickly, because it's pretty old tech. Alright, so the Democratic Party won again. Not a big surprise. We will try again, of course. We're making enough money like per day, definitely. So yeah, we can definitely afford that. So I'm going to go ahead and say this 600 is not as much as was not as important as having letting them invest and stuff. An excellent idea, we accept. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop taxes 10%. on the middle class as well. It's going to result in $200 a day less, but or 200 pounds, whatever, but it's still good. And if the middle class has a little bit more room to, you know, move around and stuff, that's nice for them. I know they'll enjoy that. All right, are we uh oh my god, get away. <laughs> they keep on re re-increasing relations. I'm trying to get down to easy so I can annex them whatever I'm just gonna sit here and wait till the next month so I can start the fabrication on them this war I don't know this is gonna be crazy oh no they already want did Poland get free I wonder oh well we'll see damn it Newfoundland I don't want to be your friend oh my god the Russians lost that's awesome go Poland all right we can create some uh, protectorates up here Oh wow, look at that. I made the federal states thing move actually to the center. Cool. Alright, make it might as well. Nunavut. Alright, yeah, so we finished that, so that was already a state, so it's still a state. Alright, let's make sure we get ourselves some railroads up here. Speaking of railroads, we need to do it over here as well. And let's go ahead and do it in Newfoundland. Because we're going to take over that anyways. Same with over here. Uh, yeah. Okay, Newfoundland. Let's justify war with you, buddy. Uh... Where is... Where is conquest? Are they like uncivilized? <laughs> mm, maybe we'll have to add it later. That's fine though. All right. So now let's go ahead and get rid of some of this infamy. All right, we're going to release Arizona. And Montana. All right, well, Idaho is going to be a bitch, but whatever. Hopefully we can get New Mexico. Damn you, New Mexico. I command you to give me... to apply for statehood. Damn it, they broke our alliance without applying. Huh. I wonder why they won't take it. Oh well. Let's focus on uh let's focus on Idaho. Let's 
All right, Idaho. Come on, buddy. We're such good friends. All right, we're getting a lot of new units built. Oh, look at that. We have a huge army over here now. Awesome. And it's pretty well balanced, right? Yeah, we got six infantry. Great. I like it. All right, let's move that guy over here. All right, Idaho. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Release Montana. Sweet. Damn it, they broke our alliance too. So it looks like we're going to have to go over there and just beat them up. That's fine. I mean, we have unlimited infamy or whatever. Alright, we declare war on Newfoundland. <sighs> Alright, uh, let's send the big army over here. And I'm going to send these little guys over here. Kaboom! Go nitro Nitroglycerin is freaking sweet. We have to keep resubsidizing those because they, uh, since since we disown them for a second when we like release them for Montana, I guess Montana's just like, nah, fuck it, I'm not paying that shit for like the two seconds that they're alive. Uh, education efficiency, or should we get some? Yeah, let's get this because that's gonna go really fast because it's such a low tech. How much longer do we have over here? Not much. I like that Canada is all broken up like this because it makes them very easy to eat. Yeah, let's do red light the practices. Alright, we can create a protectorate up here now. Look at that. Now the federal states thing is hidden over there again. Whatever. Let's decrease our relations with Ontario. They just want to be our butt buddy, apparently. So where's Newfoundland's other colony? Oh well, whatever. We can force them to repay debts as well. Because it said they had other colonies. I don't even know what they're talking about. Do they like take over something over here or something <laughs> in Europe? Are they like OP as hell? And I just don't, I can't tell. All right, well now we're making crazy amounts of money. So I think it's good to go to, let's take these guys down to 80%. And I'm going to drop them down to zero. We'll see what they do with their money now that they can spend it however they like. And not on taxes. Alright, we'll kill those rebels. Not an issue. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and start justifying war against these guys. Alright, uh... Let's go ahead and get functionalism, because I like the education efficiency. Efficiency. I just wanted to see what the other thing was. Yeah, so we're going to make them give us both of those. I don't even know what the hell that is, but I wonder if it's this stuff. Is it this stuff? Oh yeah, it is. It's just this one little island. That's okay, we should be able to get it from them. But that's weird that it counts as colonies. It must be like an issue. Yeah, I mean, I don't see them on the map anymore. Alright, well, let's go get to Ontario here. We're about to go whoop some ass.
We're going to try to reclaim Michigan and, uh, you know, all of Michigan. And then I'd like to take Ontario, but I'm pretty sure that's their capital, so they will not let us do that. We could take uh, Manitoba. Manitoba. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's release some of these guys so that we can reduce our infamy. Oh wow, fantastic. We got an Egyptian tomb discovered. That's really cool. And all of our infamy is gone. We're going to do one more though, just to get rid of it all for for, for sure. One time I would accidentally hit play, I was going to be upset. Good thing I got auto saves on, right? Alright. And now this is going to be make us free to add any sort of cross abilities we want to add against Ontario during this war. We're going to outfit an expedition, of course. Let's get these guys over here. Do we have our army over here somewhere? Like an 18 stack? No, no, I think every, yeah, everybody's over here now. <clears throat> good, good, good. Long live the federal states, of course. Uh, what's the crisis? If they want to acquire Thalassia, Greece? No, I'm going to decline that. Anyways, guys, that's going to about do it for today. Wow, poor Ottomans. They, they have had to release a lot of stuff over here. To Greece. Oh, well, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Spray and pray out.